Hi again, it's been 15 million years. Um, I'm sorry, I've been away from my camera for a very long time, but I'm here. So, um, right now, as you guys know, I'm at bar school. Um, I've done a vlog of my first qualifying session, which um, I really enjoyed, I found that really fun. And today I just was going to talk to you about a week in the life of a BPTC student. So in a typical week, I have classes Monday to Wednesday. Um, that day is always jam packed and there's a lot of prep work that's required for each class. Um, so we're just going to quickly run through what happens in the week. And I've managed to capture some footage from that particular week. Hi. Um, so I am fulfilling my promise of live blogging this week. Um, I apologize, I didn't take my camera out with me today. It was a crazy day. Um, Mondays are literally crazy on the BBTC, for me at least, because that's my first day of classes, but I've had to prepare all weekend to be ready for classes. So as you can imagine, I'm usually dying inside. So this is who I spend Sundays with, um, Civil Lit. A little bit beaten up because it goes everywhere I go. As you can see, I've tabbed up all of these different uh, areas of the civil procedure rules, which I have to know for the exams. So I do my class prep on Sunday for the class that I have on Monday. Then on Monday, my schedule typically looks like this prep to do so i get up at 7 a.m um every day um and i start working so i'll typically and i think i'm looking at the right week as well so i'll typically have um three hours of work that i'll do in the morning um before i get to class in the first classes is usually at about 10 30. then at 10 30 i'll go to class That'll last until about 12. I have a little hour and a half, but because the BBTC day is so packed and hopefully I've got a um, version of my timetable maybe up here somewhere, you can see what I'm talking about. It's quite packed, so I tend to use every moment of the day for prep work. Um, I have an app that I use called Forest, which is what helps me stay focused and what helps me um, not go on my phone. <laughs> and I'll do another video about how I uh, use time effectively and efficiently as possible so i think this week i had opinion writing opinion writing is fun you typically would have had to prepare an opinion so that requires sitting down and drafting one that can take a, a while um it takes it can take you about five six hours to do all of that work and um we'll do an i'll do another video where i explain if you don't know what all these different things but barristers essentially draft opinions legal opinions for their instructing solicitors and that's what we learn to do in that class then I come home, I think this week um, I had a hand in due, so I had some work to hand in, um, so I did that. Then I came home, now I tried to do a rule where I don't work after 7pm, but the way this course is set up is kind of crazy, but I think this week I was quite successful. I managed to uh, finish the day at 6. Then on to Tuesday. So on Tuesdays, I again start up at 7 a.m. I had an advocacy class and an evidence class to do preparations for. Good morning. So it's currently 7 a.m. Um, I've got my little forest app up and running. Um, gotta do, so this is pretty much, I got my candle, I love candles, but this is pretty much my morning routine i get up at seven so today i've got to do civil litigation work um because i have i'm uh, not civil lit sorry evidence because i have class at 11. this is my um evidence manual um so i've got class at 11 a.m but i also have criminal lit and civil advocacy so i'm criminal advocacy so this is gonna be a really busy three hours. I'm gonna try and get as much as I can finished. Um, but yeah, so I'll see you. I'll come back when I'm on the way to class. Thank you. 
so criminal ev evidence is things like witness hand uh, witness ev with evidence that witnesses give evidence that's admissible in court evidence that's not admissible in court and all basically every rule of criminal evidence and that's what we do in that class then um, I had criminal advocacy which is um, first we did bail applications and then we did examination in chief and then we did cross exam nation cross examination which was really fun they're really nice really yeah. do you guys want to be in my vlog sure. Hi. <laughs> then I had two a lecture in the afternoon at three so I had to read before that lecture but I went and had a nice lunch instead so I've come for lunch um, at Exmouth market so there's like food stalls and it's really beautiful around here and I picked myself up some lunch and now I'm just gonna go have a bit of a walk and some lunch and of course the wheelie bag is with me. So cute! Yeah, it's on now. Me and my friends. Natalie, say hi. Sorry. Hi. You look so good in everything. I hate you. <laughs> say hi. Um, then I have criminal litigation, small groups. So criminal litigation is basically all the rules of criminal procedure, essentially. Then um, careers session on answering the legal problem in um, pupillage interviews, which was fun. And then I headed home. So Wednesdays, um, this day was quite interesting actually because I got to get up a bit later and I started working at night. So I had an ADR, so alternative dispute resolution. Um, I had a small group class, like a tutorial for that one. So I started working on that from nine, quite a lot of work. So I was working that on that for about nearly four hours. Then I went into school. Welcome back to my lair. Um, I'm just sat here doing some ADR work ahead of my class, which I've got later. Um, at 1.30, so I've been up since 9, uh, got up a little bit later today, um, so yeah, um, out of interest, this is where I keep all my folders, all these lever arches, I'm gonna do a um, video on how I've stayed organised on the BBTC and uh, what goes into my bag every day, but yeah, I've got my trusty candle, always have to have a candle next to me when I'm working, I don't know why, I like the piece. Um, and it's scented, which is nice. So yeah, I'll catch you guys when I'm on the way to class later. Then I had a big lecture on opinion writing. Um, and then I had work. I was working at an open evening that evening. So that was quite wild. And then I went straight over to a pupillage open evening. So your time on the BBTC will be working and doing all of your careers events and all of the stuff you need to do for that. Thursdays, I work at Advocate, which is formerly known as the Bar Pro Bono Unit. So I produce um, case summaries, um, which then go to barristers um, to review, who then um, decide if the case should be taken on by Advocate, who then allocate barristers to represent people pro bono. So today is Thursday, and on Thursdays I come to Chancery Lane and I volunteer at the National Pro Bono Centre, which is just there. Um, so on the BBTC, well, where I do it, you have three days on, and then you get for two days, um, you have no classes, and you can do things, for example, pro bono work. Um, what's been really good, actually, is 
I've been putting into action everything I've been learning in civil litigation, for example. Um, you know, you've got everything going on, claim forms, defences, you're reading through all the case papers, you're actually seeing the things that you study in real time. So I definitely recommend um, that you do this work because, um, or similar if you can, because it helps make everything make sense um, and it's a good use of your time. So I'm heading off to go find some lunch somewhere and um, I will see you soon. Peace. Um, don't worry if you don't know what pro bono means, I'm going to do a whole nother video on that. Though there are some other videos I've done on pro bono commitments which you might find interesting. Then Fridays is my free day. I have a lovely time on Fridays. I do nothing. Um, well, that's a lie. I work. <laughs> but that's the only day I don't have to set an alarm. I tend to use Fridays, Saturdays and Sundays as my fitness days. So I'll go to the gym. I'll, um, go, I don't know. I'll just do all my errands and everything I need to do on those days, which is really fun and, and good for me, I think. Then um, Saturdays and Sundays, I study um, so I do all, all I can on those days um, and then on Sunday evening or morning ideally but usually evening I write legal tea with B um, which is my legal roundup I do of um, the past so the previous week's legal updates and news um, and I do that every Sunday and then it's back to the white book to prep for civil lit class for the next Monday. So as you can see, my week tends to be a whirlwind. It's ridiculously busy, but I enjoy it. I love this course. I'm loving learning how to become a barrister and improving myself. And it's really, um, it's really enjoyable for me. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you insight into what a week in the life of a bar student looks like. Um, stick around for the rest of my videos in my blessing at the bar um series by subscribing to lawcareers.net on youtube and also subscribing to my youtube channel blessing makosha which um um you'll just find if you search blessing makosha on youtube don't forget my blog as well it's called blessing at the bar.com and it's where i write blog posts and i covered it on the gdl as well so you've got everything i've got advice on there and my Legal Tea with B series is on there. And there's a really easy link for you to subscribe to my mailing list. Peace out, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope this video is helpful and um, you can see what the life of a BBTC student is like.